commissioned Lawrence Berkeley National Labs to uh, answer this question for us. What are the policies which are working out there now? There are some effective policies, certainly, which are um, making a difference in the world today. The purpose of this report uh, has been to understand better the policies and programs that have been most effective in promoting energy efficiency in buildings. And the scope was very broad. It was for large regions of the world, the United States, the European Union, China, and India, in order to identify what worked and what did constitute best practice. So our goal is to identify and assess best practices in both policies and programs uh, for promoting energy efficiency in buildings. There are three major policies. They are building energy standards, their uh, whole building energy labels, and there are incentives for higher energy efficiency. We came up with recommendations that relate to each of those policies, but also the policies in combination. For building energy standards, make sure, assure that uh, the building's standards were updated regularly. For labels, you have to produce a product that large numbers of people understand easily. For incentives to really have a significant impact, they had to be sustainable. We have to say that the policies that have been in place have not achieved the objectives that need to be achieved. The packages uh, that we looked at were building energy standards combined with uh, whole building labels combined with incentives. Uh, the standards provide a minimum efficiency level for the building. The labels enable you to measure uh, the uh, energy uh, efficiency or energy savings relative to the standard level. The incentives combined with the labels, which provide a measuring stick, encourage and often induce uh, new practices, uh, new uh, building methods, new technologies that will uh, bring the building uh, beyond standards. So it's that combination that's, that's uh, very powerful. For commercial buildings, where we do have specific recommendations, the strongest need is for uh, what is called integrated design, which basically means that you interact all the elements of the design uh, to produce uh, a design that approaches optimal. We need uh, much more attention to how whatever we've learned uh, uh, gets transferred, gets shared. I think that's what the report does. In terms of GBPN, they can influence policymakers to make decision makers aware of results so that they know, in this case, what best policy practice is. If they don't know the experiences of different countries, if they don't know how combining policies uh, can have a big impact, then they can't do anything. And so, uh, if you are heard often enough, uh, it will have an effect.